So you have some anxiety. Mm, a lot, a of, anxiety. lot of it. Yes. <laughs> but I assume sometimes it's worse than other times. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's right. Great. So do you ever calm down at all? Yes. Go to sleep now and then? I go to sleep now and then. Um, I like to knit. I like to read. Okay. So some of those things kind of bring you down. And they do. And cool, yeah. curiously, when I'm working with my clients, okay. it, it's calm because it's someone else. It's not me. It's okay. somebody else. Well, not only that, but you're probably paying a lot of attention to them. I mean, I do when I'm paying attention to a client. It's like the rest of the world falls away almost. I don't think about what I have to do tomorrow or mowing the lawn or anything like that. I just focus right here, right? That's true. And anxiety is usually focusing on something in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Now, assuming that you were calm sometime and then you started to get anxious, tell me about the feeling. And in, in specific, I want you to tell me where it starts and where it goes to. Mm. Dep kind of a weird question. No. <laughs> Depends on the situation. The example I had given you when you asked about yeah. anxiety before was I said that when I was driving from the White Mountains of Arizona, mm -hmm. I stopped every hour on the air because I had to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Now it starts in my stomach. Mm -hmm. It clenches. When you said, would you like to be up here? at the Oh, dear. And it clenched. Okay. And then immediately I thought, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Um, so you get a tightness here. I do. And then it goes down? It goes down. Okay. Breathing also, excuse me, breathing also changes at that time. Okay. Does it gets, go both ways then? It gets very shallow. Yes, it does. Okay. My shoulders tighten up. My neck tightens up. Right. And so part of it goes down mm -hmm. and then part of it goes up. Mm -hmm. Now, part of it goes down, just goes down into your groin? And yes. Okay, and then it stops there? Mm -hmm. Now, this may be an even clearer question. Close your eyes and notice, you know, put yourself in one of those situations, like you're driving across New Mexico mm -hmm. or Arizona or whatever, and you st start getting this thing, this clench. Mm -hmm. Does it go down and then up, or does it go both ways at once? Mm -hmm. It is here first. I don't realize that I'm not breathing, but it starts here, then it goes here, and then it goes. Okay, so it actually starts up here. Now you point it to your right shoulder. Is it both shoulders or in the center? No, it's it's this shoulder, it's this neck right here. Oh, in the neck. Mm -hmm. So it starts in the neck? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it starts in the neck, and then it goes, does it go down your midline? It's just on this side. Just on the right side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it goes down the right side. And then it goes down to your, and then it clenches, mm -hmm. and then it goes down to your groin. Mm -hmm. Does it go anywhere else after that? Not that I can feel. Okay, that's plenty. I'm just, just asking. I always ask a little bit more than I think is useful, because sometimes I'm wrong. Now, as it goes down, I'm going to call this the path of the feeling. So it starts in the back of your neck, mm -hmm. kind of comes around your right shoulder, and then down like this, mm -hmm. and then down into your groin. As it does, what, tell me a little bit about the size of the path. Does it start out real small and then get larger as it goes around, mm -hmm. or is it all the same? Or Big. It's big. How big? Can you gesture with? Immense. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's big. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it goes ex far beyond your body. Mm -hmm. And I keep yelling to myself, I can't do this, I can't do this. So it's like I have to get past this loop of I can't to get to the other side. It's Tiring at times. I can't do this? I can't do this, no. Okay. That's I'm right. tempted to use a different method than I was planning to do, but maybe we'll do that as frosting on the cake later. Okay. Um, interesting. So it's very large. So how, you gestured very large? Mm hmm Okay. Another example I could give you, I was involved with the Great Ropes experience where they had all sorts of wires um, right. strung all over a... Zip lines and stuff racquetball court yeah. and there was a crossing of those and you got to go across the middle and I screamed all the way from one side to the other okay. and I uh, did fine but I just so you did it in spite of it I do okay mm -hmm. great so it's very large and it's, and it's large all the way is that right mm -hmm. all the way down in here mm -hmm. great now what color is it it's white white mm -hmm. okay so like a snow white or a mm -hmm. 
pure white, opaque white rather than clear? It's opaque. Mm -hmm. Opaque? Okay, good. Now, my last question is even weirder. As it goes from your neck down, in, down, bullet, down your body, which way does it spin? Mm, this way. Okay, so it's going like this. Mm -hmm. down the you know which way, I don't have mm -hmm. to know actually. Now what I want you to try is put yourself in one of these situations that would make you anxious, like driving across the, the desert. Mm -hmm. And feel it start in your neck and move down your body. But this time, I want you to do the following in a moment, not yet. I want you to reverse the direction of spin, change the color to a color you like better, and add some sparkles to it. And just do that and find out what happens. Feels better. Feels a lot better. <laughs> you done it already? I did. Okay. Do it again. So you get a better sense of it. It's really nice. This whole side of my body is relaxing. Okay. I'm breathing better. Yeah. You're smiling too. Mm hmm Now, would it be okay for you to have this response instead of the old one? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, be a, little be a little cautious. Ask a little more. Are there any situations in which you'd rather have the old response? I think, say, if I were in a dangerous situation, I'd rather be aware than anxious. I would think that usually would be better. I think so, too. But there are some exceptions. There's, there's some times when <coughs> getting anxious is protective, and I want to not take that away from you. In this case, you have choice now. Right? Yes, I do. Now, if you just put yourself in that situation that used to make you anxious, what is it like? easy. Okay, it's automatic then. It is. Great. Some people need a little more practice and that's what I'm checking for. Some people, and, and if you find yourself in a situation where you have the old response, you know now what to do. Mm -hmm. So it gives you some, something to do, something to control. Mm. Well, I remember this. Will you forget it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. That looks good to me. Put, Thank try you. it in a couple of other situations. See if you can get the old response back. Oh, okay. Think about some other situations that you used to get anxious in. There's still a little bit. I'm sitting in front of the computer. I am not facile with the computer. Mm -hmm. And it always goes, I give up. I'm going to shut down. I'm going to do this, that, or the other thing with you. And it just... This whole side of my body goes tense. Okay. Um, Does it now, if you imagine doing that? No. Oh, okay. You're talking about the past then. I'm talking about the past, but it started. So, but I just remember that I can do the other. Okay, so the old response started and you remembered that you can do the other. Mm -hmm. And then it canceled it out. Is mm -hmm. that right? Great. Mm -hmm. Try a few more places like that. Let's see if we can make this automatic. Okay. So think of a couple of other contexts. Well, one at a time. Test in a few other contexts and find out if it's automatic or if you have to consciously do it. Okay. Um, one would be the future, just looking at financial futures. Okay. And that's fine now. Okay. Automatically? Driving, automatically. Driving okay. back home, fine. Okay. If I get in a place where there's no cell reception, and there I am, well, there I am, and I'll deal with it then. Okay. What a wonderful gift. Thank you. Isn't that lovely? That is lovely. It's Thank a mind-blower <laughs> to me as much as I've done it. <laughs> Thank you.